Welcome back to the Calibrated Daily Map Updates. This is the map update for September 25th, 2024. Thank you all so much for tuning in today. Um, just so you guys are aware, if you go to the link in my description of the video here, you will find my Twitter, my Telegram, and my Patreon page. If you go and follow me on those locations for free, you do not have to uh, pay to follow me anywhere. Uh, you will gain access to a lot more content uh, that I put out. So feel free to head over there. And if you wish to support me, I very much appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Remember that if you have not yet subscribed, please go subscribe. That helps me tremendously. And if you are not new here and you like my work, <clears throat> please go ahead and leave a like and a comment and click that notification bell so you guys can see when my videos go up and you never miss a video. All right, here we go over to the map. We do not have a ton of updates, but some very, very uh, important things are happening on the map. So first and foremost, <clears throat> uh, we're going to uh, focus on uh, this update first, which is just a small Russian advance through a, a single field. <clears throat> but what this really is beginning to show uh, is that this pocket is entirely compromised right here. Um, and we should very, very likely uh, here soon see a Ukrainian retreat, at least from this side of the Volvicha River, if they have not already left. And uh, we may see them try to hold these two uh, towns here. But as you can see, the situation is already deplorable. Uh, the logistics situation is, is very difficult. All logistics has to come through this one small uh, stretch right here, which can be heavily watched with FPV drones. So this pocket is is becoming a very, very dangerous place for the Ukrainians. And I do expect a retreat from here the second Zelensky gets back from his uh, trip to the United States at, and the UN Security Council. All right, moving south, <clears throat> Russian forces have again advanced uh, south of uh, Kostantinivka um, and in the direction of Katerinivka. Um, this is important because it really just shows that this entire southern flank has been compromised. Uh, the Russians are now pushing into uh, the next uh, set of towns and pushing closer to the actual next line of defense. If there even is one, um, it should run from here in Horhove, uh, down this road right here into uh, Yuspenivka and then down to Maskimalivka. So uh, that, that this is the new defense line for the Ukrainians. You can see that this defense line along the um, Kashlaka River right here has been completely compromised along with Ugladar. All right, and to our uh, most important update of the day, uh, the situation around Ugladar is now deplorable for the Ukrainians. Uh, a retreat order was never issued for the Ukrainians in Ugladar. So... Uh, there are Ukrainian units that are trapped here that never got an order to withdraw. Uh, they are now physically cut uh, from the, the last remaining road out of the, the city right here. The last remaining dirt road has been cut. Um, this fortification, a uh, fortification in this area has been captured. And now any vehicles, anybody leaving Ugladar uh, will be eliminated uh, on the approach to um, whatever town is next, Boholinivka. Um, so, uh, very bad situation. Ukrainians are still sitting in the basements here. Um, I'm, I'm, we're getting reports of a ton of surrenders. Um, it really does look like uh, the that this trip for Zelensky to Washington and to the UN, and, and you know he, he toured a Pennsylvania artillery shell plant and stuff like that. It really does seem like this trip has come at the absolute worst moment uh, because the Ukrainians aren't retreating while Zelensky is away. It, it, they're still playing a PR game. So Zelensky, in my personal opinion, I believe that Zelensky has issued an order to not retreat from specific areas until he returns because he's trying to get some sort of diplomatic win uh, in the United States and with NATO. <clears throat> so uh, all of the fields on approach have been captured by the Russians. The Russians are inside of Ugladar. They have captured a number of high-rise buildings as well as this storage container area, this like, uh, it's basically uh, long-term uh, storage like garages, uh, like you pay, you store sort of thing in the United States. I don't know if anybody knows that, um, but uh, this is just a mining town. So this 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 town was just uh, 
high rise buildings that were meant to house miners for the number one coal mine, the number three coal mine, and then there are some other uh, mining facilities in this region. So that's what Ugladar was initially designed for. It was then turned into a fortification city with trenches running in between, uh, like trench tunnels running in between the basements of these buildings. This whole thing is just a fortress. And it is the most it is the most important event that has happened for the Russians since um, I would say probably Avdiivka. Potent I mean, I mean, I guess you could say Orchitney was pretty big, and, and and you know this expansion, but this took a long time, and it wasn't a single event. This single event is going to compromise the entire southern uh, line for the Ukrainians, the entire southern defense line and front as well as allow uh, Russians to begin running logistics on this highway, which means that they don't have to run logistics, uh, you know, several kilometers back. Um, it also will relieve pressure on the original railway line uh, that it pr existed here before the war. Uh, the one that the Russians basically had to build a second line from Rostov to uh, Crimea down here through the south, through Mariupol and Meliotopol. Uh, so that they could uh, not have to rely solely on the Kerch Bridge for uh, supply to Crimea. Uh, that 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 rail that railroad line now that is closer to Donetsk city and runs uh, more over towards Zaporozhia um, has now been uh, relieved of the uh, Ukrainian pressure from artillery. HIMARS aren't being used in this direction at all, so uh, the the Russians should gain access to an additional. Uh, means of logistics in the south. Um, expect a massive um, explosion of Russian advances and activity here along the south. And I have talked about it. I, I'm expecting a Russian push towards either Zaporozhye itself, but more, more than likely, Orehiv, Polyai Polye, and Velika Novosilka will, will be the main targets because these 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 uh, towns have a number of roads that uh, connect to them. They're sort of crossroad towns, is what I've uh, is what I've named them. So. Uh, crossroad villages. So that's what I, that's what I'm expecting. Um, and as we can see, the Russians are improving their position. They've improved their position here quite significantly. Uh, if you remember, they have recaptured Urozhin, Staromayorsky, and now they are working towards Velika Novosilka. And with the push over here from uh, Zolotan Niava, uh, you could see Velika Novosilka fall very quickly. And then the Russians will have access to uh, basically all the roads, the roads that lead to Horiaipolie, the roads that lead to Hohove, the roads that lead up to the roads that supply Horhove and Drivka and getting behind Pokrovsk. So guys, watch this area, please, 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 please watch this area. This is where I expect the most activity to happen. All right, guys, thank you so much. Remember, if you are new here, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. It is the easiest way you can support me. Thank you all so, 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 so very much for being here. I appreciate you more than you guys know. Please take care. Have an amazing week. And I will catch you most likely on either the next daily update tomorrow. I, I, I do believe that I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. So I will catch you on the next live stream. Goodbye. Be safe. Don't die.